For this demonstration, I have a civil 3D roundabout and I'm going to add the 2D road markings to the southern arm, then I'm going to turn them into 3D, then I'm going to convert the 2D sign faces into 3D, then I'm going to take the drawing into Navisworks and view the BIM or asset data. So now I'm going to add the remaining 1040 marking to the southern end of the roundabout. So first I'm going to select the road hatch command and I'm going to use a selection method. So that means that I can just select the outer markings for the 1040. Uh, press enter and it brings it in. Now what you can see is you can see that it's not drawn it quite right or it's not drawing it up to the actual edge. And what we can do is simply just stretch the marking and as I do you can see that you can actually see live drag if I just move that about. <clears throat> And we've just got a little bit around here, we want to stretch it past there, that's, there we go, that's perfect. Now, the obvious issue with this is that the pedestrian island is not an area that we want to be marked. So, in order to remove this piece here, I actually have a yellow boundary that I've pre-drawn. Now, this is just a polyline, but what happens is if we double-click the road marking, we can use the Add Knockout Zone, select our boundary, press OK, and the bit that we don't want is actually removed and then we can just turn off the boundary. So the marking is actually perfect around the edge of the pedestrian island. Now, the next thing obviously is we want the 3D road markings um, to be added to our design. So if you can see in the background here, we've got a tin surface because obviously we're in civil 3D. Um, if I just change the view to 45 degrees and then you can see that there's not actually any markings on that surface at the moment. In fact, I'll just turn off the contours, major, minor, off, off, there we go. It's a little easier to see now. I want to do is I'll leave it in this view um, and I'll just press the drape 3D command. That asks you for a surface, there's only one in our drawing so we can just go ahead and choose that. And if we just wait for a couple of seconds, the 3D road markings will pop in and they'll all be done straight away. Okay, so if I then turn rendering on, we can actually get a little bit of view. So we can actually see that all the markings have come in correctly. Okay. So now I'm going to turn my 2D signs into 3D signs. So I'm going to change view, and this is going to help me see the signs a little easier. So in for, for the first sign, I'm going to choose Convert 2D Sign to 3D Sign, select the edge of the border, and in comes sign number one. So we'll do the same for sign number two, Convert 2D to 3D, okay. Same for sign number three, and same for sign number four. Okay, so we've got all four signs in 3D. Now, if we just send them to surface, okay, and if we just rotate the view, we should see all our signs in 3D attached to the surface. Okay, so now inside Autodesk Navisworks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to view the BIM data that I have imported um, from AutoCAD and the drawing. So what we have is we have a sign face in 3D and I want to now view the asset data or the BIM data. So all I have to do is select the sign and we can see up there that sign is Ampro UK BIM link that shows the, the asset data of this particular sign. So if we were to switch to another sign face and then select sign face number four. Again, you can see the BIM data change with the selection of the sign. Now, we can also do this with the road markings as well. So if I just jump over here to this 1040 marking and I select 1040, when it highlights, you can see that again, Line Design Pro UK BIM, 
It's imported the BIM data and this is really easy. You just select it and it's right there.